The following is brought to you by House Call Pro. Check out the link in the summary after the video for your free trial. All right, we're going to get a demo done of the Yellow Jacket Digital Torque Wrench, part number 60648. So it comes in a nice sturdy case. Here's the handle and here's the head. It comes with the head shipped, but I took it off to show you guys that the head can be removed and word on the street is we can get some other attachments, like bigger ones to attach this. And we have a small Phillips screwdriver so we can open up the back to take out the batteries. We also have a calibration certificate that it comes with to show that it's been calibrated at the factory. One of the features that I really like about this wrench is that there's an offset here. Now that offset, what that does is when you put it on a nut, it grabs it a lot better and doesn't allow the wrench to slip on the nut, causing a rounding effect to the nut itself. The manual of this Dakin unit has actually seen better days. So what I wanted to show you is the gas side we are going to go between 45.6 and 55.6 foot-pounds. That's the torque we're going to set the torque wrench to. And I've already got it set to that right here. 55.6 foot-pounds. That's on the higher end of the range that it's asking for. And we're going to try it out like this. We also have other options of units of measure in the tool itself. If we click through this U slash S button. We see our other units of measure there. So we're going to head back to foot pounds and we're going to check our flare nut on our pre existing installed suction line. Okay, before we tighten our nut up, what we want to do is we want to put a backing wrench on. Okay, that way when we come up with the torque wrench, we come down with the backing wrench and we don't bind the pipe and cause ourselves some grief, some issues, okay? Now, on the tool, there's some LEDs. As we start to tighten up, those LEDs will start to move across, and when we get to the torque that we've entered into the wrench, what's gonna happen is it's gonna alarm and tell us we're there. Now, it's a good idea to do this on preventative maintenance because these nuts, over time, with expansion and contraction, they can start to back out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this existing install, this nut here, and we're gonna make sure it's at the correct torque. And I'll let you guys know if I feel it moving when I hit that torque. Okay, so you heard it beeping. And when we got to the torque that was entered in, we turned red there. And this nut did not move. So this nut is torqued correctly. So that's it, guys. This is a pretty solid tool. It's the Yellow Jacket Digital Torque Wrench. And for VRFs, mini splits, these things are, are all the rage these days, and this tool is going to help you out to make sure your install is done correctly. Happy HVACing, guys.